Right, let's carry on. Um, this question, this was one of those questions that this um, chapters that I recorded for you on um, financial and physical capital maintenance. I mean, it's not a big chapter at all. You can go over it, but really, sometimes these are the good. These are the spots to sort of pick up and and um, review this. So let's understand very quickly. First of all, the answer is between B and C, um, and it's really about this question of excessive dividends and or or maintaining um, the balance sheet structure. So let's just come to equity. And so the point here is really this: that um, you can we are aware of inflation. We're aware of inflation. And um, there's two ideas behind dealing with inflation. So, for example, if you make a profit of, for example, £100, and the fact that, I don't know, before inflation, you could purchase, I don't know, 10 units, if you like, um, for um, £100. But because of inflation, um, you cannot... Um, of course, your money is not as valuable as it is. So really, um, what this sort of says, this idea is that, listen, um, if if you have retained earnings, you need to if, imagine inflation now means that to purchase a, 10 units, you now need 125 pounds, something along those lines. Inflation is basically saying that when you're paying out dividends, you have to be aware of the fact that you need more money in reserves to be able to buy those units. You cannot just pay dividends out as, and not be aware that due to inflation, you need to store more cash to buy more um, inventory so you can carry on this business. That's what's referred to as physical capital. Physical is to do with the fact that we're actually talking about inventory. So the answer here actually is C. Now, the idea of financial capital maintenance is simply saying that, listen, we recognize that there is inflation. And what we want to do with that is just to every year remeasure our um, equity, if you like, at real, in real, in real terms, if you like, at real value. So basically deduct any inflation that comes, basically deduct that inflation from our reserves and just put that through as an expense. It's just that recognition of inflation purely to rebalance your equity section. And that's it, really. So that's the difference between the two. Physical is really about the active element of being aware of physical inventory, if you like, and not paying dividends, if you like, so that you have money to be able to buy stock again year on year. And that's what this is about. This is just the idea of rebalancing your equity section to be, because you see if you're trying to say that your equity if you're trying to say your equity is say worth um a million a million pounds and then there's inflation in order to make sure a million pounds is a million pounds in real value you have to basically recognize convert some of that profit into equity to to, to compensate for that inflation and that's what you're doing with financial capital maintenance keeping your equity section fresh or real if you like, in real terms, if you like, every single year. Think of it almost like a forex, foreign exchange sort of revaluation, right? And that's the, that's, the re that's the difference between the two. So the answer here is C. Okay, great. So um, here, um, so the point is that with C, we're not even talking about any dividends being paid out. We're just trying to maintain equity in real terms. Here, we're actually talking about paying our dividends and we're trying to make a decision, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. So, um, question twelve. It says that Palmer owned a herd of cattle. Uh, sorry, cattle. Cattle for carrying amount of forty-eight thousand at the year end. It's gone up to fifty-four thousand. Whoop do. So, what does that mean? Um, it's gone up to fifty-four thousand. Remember, we always recognize it straight away. Recognize everything to profit or loss. Less commission. So, it's paid commission of three percent. So, if it's going to pay commission of three percent, I need to deduct three percent off this. If you like, um, or if you like the the value. Um, pay, it pays commission. We always recognize it if you like less commission. So I basically I can only recognize it at ninety seven percent of of that in terms of what I take to my profit or loss, right? Because it is recognized less commission. That's when I can take it to profit or loss. So basically, ninety seven times fifty four thousand is fifty two thousand three hundred and eighty. So it's almost as though I'm selling it. Think of it like that. But we're recognizing the profit straight away, less the carrying amount currently there um, of forty eight thousand 
minus 48,000, and that takes you to 4,000, 4,300. 4,380. I suppose you could have said 54,000 minus 40, 48,000, then found 3% of this and taken that off, if you like. Think of it that way. Um, it's the same difference. It's the same difference. So 54,000 minus 48,000, and then take off 3% of 54,000, and you get exactly the same, the same thing. Great. Right. Um, Great. Now, yeah, this is a disposal. Good question. Good revision question. I will do it slightly different to what the answers do. So you can see the disposals. I've always argued that these should be looked at in terms of 100%. You're selling off um, a shareholding. You're selling off your holding. So we sell it, deal with it as though you own the whole company. Now, what does that mean? So what are you selling it for? Consideration, you're selling it for well, what you're selling, disposal proceeds, if you like. You're selling it for your 80% at 260. That's your fair value. Right. My next question is, what is the 20%? I mean, I always, I've, I've always highlighted this. Always think of it as you're selling off the whole thing. Less what it is you're selling. You're selling the net assets, of course, plus, of course, the goodwill. Remember, this is consolidated. The whole business, the whole subsidiary, of course, under consolidated is goodwill plus the net assets. Goodwill, we're told, hasn't changed of 20,000. We're also told that the net assets, of course, at the day of disposal is 200,000, which is wonderful. Our next task is simply to find out what the the value of the non-controlling is at the year end. So if we look at it, this non-controlling asset, when we pick when it started, it was at 140,000. And over time, the, it has gone from 140 to 200,000. So it's gone from 140 to 200,000, and they own 20% of it right? 20% of this growth, if you like. Think of a working two, if you like. Think of working two, 140, 200,000, that sort of thing. You have a growth post ac of 60, right? And they own 20% of that. So 20% of that um, gives you, that's 60, isn't it? Um, yes, and that's a fifth, a fifth of um, um, 0 0.2 times 60,000, and that gives you 12,000. So you have 12,000 here um, added on to their existing 140,000. Yes, that's it, right. Acquired some shares um, of net assets of... Yes, so the, yes, that's it. So you had 140... Sorry, forgive me. Let me just look at what the 80% the shareholding of that is that. Right, good. sorry, I almost missed that there. That is the acquisition. That is the non-controlling interest at acquisition, 24,000. So 24,000 starting off the non-controlling interest, and then they get a share of profits of 12,000, right? Because they started, that, that net asset business has started at 140,000 and gone all the way to 200,000. So they get a share of that of 20%. So 24,000 plus 12,000 is 36,000. So that is the value of a 20% holding at, at the end at the at the disposal date. So the full disposal therefore is 260 plus 36,000. That's the value of the full. So that's really 209. If you owned everything, you'd be receiving 296,000. And everything had basically the whole business costs 220,000. That's that whole thing, 220,000 giving you a profit of 76,000. So what am I saying? Get your consideration of 80%, get your starting value of your non um of non-controlling interest, add on their share of profit from the day of acquisition. Think of that as you're working six or whatever it is, or working four, sorry, forgive me. And um, and then take off the full value of the business. Don't forget the goodwill. Don't forget the goodwill. Okay, great. Um, 14, um, accounting, a change in accounting policies, estimates, um, errors. So all of these um, are well, when I say all of these, residual value, two-year machine, straight line method, these are just estimations, 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 estimations. Presentation, I know it sounds a bit sort of silly, but presentation is unique in that it is classification and that is a change in policy. Think about the way we would read documents or read financial statements if suddenly you move um, operating expenses to cost of sales. Gross profit margins, you're almost crossing categories, aren't you? Gross profit margin, net profit margin issue there. Um, so the answer is C, change your policy. 
yeah, really important that useful life, all here are all estimations. These are all estimations. And so we are prospective. We only look forward with estimations. We look forward, but we look back with policies and errors. We look back with policies and errors. Um, intangibles, IS38. Um, all intangibles are subject to annual impairment review. No, not quite. I mean, it's a good thing, but it's not, it's not the case. Um, intangibles can never be measured. No, that's not true. Probably, um, you can, I mean, depending on the intangible. So you, you're looking at the fair value. It's really about what's relevant. If it's relevant to use a valuation model, then do so. Um, we don't internally, we don't recognize internally generated brands. We just don't because, um, of the problem with faithful representation, well, faithful representation and um, measurement uncertainty. We don't quite, even though we, even though it's relevant, we, yes, we take the box of relevance. We fall on measurement uncertainty. Um, it's subjective. It's very subjective. And then research costs should always be written off. Yes, that's correct. So the answer here is the answer here is D. So that's um, eleven to fifteen.